Hey, welcome back. This is our second vi video in the VexCode VR series. And again, what VexCode VR is, is the way that we can learn to program, program robots without actually having the robots in front of us. So this is an activity that we're going to use quite frequently to supplement our in-class robotics. Now, in the last video, number one, what we did was we just learned how to make the robot go forward and back, forward further and back further. And then finally, forward even further than that and come back. It was very basic. We only used the drive forward block, and that's it. This one, we're going to actually use the turn right or turn left 90 degrees block and the drive forward block to move our way and navigate through a maze. All right? So let's take a look real quick at that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is select the playground to get the maze opened up. So you're going to go up here to select playground and click that. You got to be careful. Don't use the dynamic wall maze. That one changes every time and, and really randomly changes. So it'd be impossible to solve it the way we're doing it. Instead, you need to go down here to wall maze. And I'll take a second to load. And then what I would do is probably, I'm going to click the expand. You can make it bigger. If that doesn't fit on your screen, that's fine. You don't have to do that. But to teach you guys, I'm going to use it a little bit bigger. OK, so what, what is our goal? Today, your assignment that you're going to have to do is going to be going to location B. What I'm going to show you is how to go to location 1 over here. But remember, if you copy mine and go to location 1 and turn it in, it'll be you'll have to redo it. Your job is to see how I get to one and use that knowledge to get over to location B. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get over here with the turns and moving forward. And what you're going to do is you're going to see how I do that, and you have to go over to location B. And once you're done, you're going to take a, you're going to export this with your robot sitting on location B and the code, and you're going to turn that in. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we're going to have to do, you can see I need to go to location one. If I do move forward right away, move forward for 250, watch what happens. I'm going to go the wrong way. Not good. So I'm going to reset that and get rid of this. We need to start with a right turn for me. When you guys go to B, you're going to have to go forward right away. But for me, I need to start by turning right. And I'll press play and see how it works. Good. That's what I wanted to do. Reset it. And then I'm going to move drive forward for 250. This is very, very important that you listen to this. It makes your job way, way easier. Every single thing on this map will be distances of 250 millimeters. So if you need to move forward one space, like I do, you're going to type in 250. If you needed to move forward two spaces, you would type in double 250. 250 times 2, which is 500. If you needed to go three spaces, you'd go 250 times 3, which is 750. OK? If you can remember that, this one gets real, real easy. And it should be done pretty quickly. OK, so let's play this and see how it goes. Every time I add code, I always test it. Cool. Let's reset. That works good. Now let's move along. You can see, if I play here, now I need to have the robot turn left. But wait a minute. This says turn right. Where's the left? What you need to do is put this one on there. And then instead of right, you're going to change it to left. Let's test that and see how that goes. Cool. Now we need to move forward. And remember, every space we move forward is always, if you want to do it the easy way, is always 250 millimeters. So I bring this out, type in 250 millimeters, just like that. Let's test it, reset it, and test it. Hey, good. I'm going good. Now I need to turn right. Right 90 degrees, reset it, and test it again one step at a time. Now you might say, hey, this is taking forever. You know, this video hasn't, and I had to introduce this and show you what we were doing, and it hasn't even taken me four minutes yet. So I don't think this is impossible. You just need to keep testing it. When you try to do two or three, four things at a time, your robot kind of starts to 
if you make any mistakes, it's going to be hard to tell where it went wrong. That's why I just do this again and again. Now look here, I need to move forward one, two spaces. As we said earlier, remember, two times 250 is 500. So I'm going to use 500 right now. So we're going to move forward. And we're going to move forward for 500 millimeters. Let's reset that and give that a try. Hey, awesome. I'm doing pretty well. We need to now make a right turn and move forward 250. Now watch, I'm going to show you guys a trick. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can pull it out and change them one by one. But if you go up to this one, you see how this is a right turn and move forward? You can go click on this one here and it will duplicate everything below it. If I click up here and duplicate, it would give me all four of these. So I'm going to go right here, duplicate. And we need to change this to 250 because now it's only one space. It's not two like we did before. But you see, that's an easier way to do it. You can duplicate and copy it down there. So I'm going to reset and let's play it to see if this works. Left turn forward 250, right turn forward 500, right turn forward 250. Okay, now we need to make another right turn and go forward 250. Wow, look at this. That's what we have right here. We just need another chunk like that. So don't click here, click on this one. Duplicate and tack that on the bottom. Now, if I'm correct, this should be all finished and we're done. Let's see or at least I'm done with my practice. You have to go to location B, don't forget. This is just to teach you how it works. Good. Awesome. Now, I'm gonna show you guys something. What if I screwed up and I gave a left turn? You can tell you made a mistake in your code, probably because the robot's probably gonna go the wrong way, or it's gonna run into the wall. Let's see what it looks like when it runs into the wall here with a bad left turn. Yeah, see, it just runs into the wall and gets stuck. So I'm going to turn that back to right. And let me show you now how you could go about turning this assignment in. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up here. I put my name, Jeremy Woodchick, maze to B, maze to location B. So just something that tells me what you're doing in the assignment. You have to reset and press play and go all the way to the end. I need to see the picture of the robot actually on for yours on location B. For my demonstration, I was supposed to get to, and I'm going to leave it here. I'm not going to reset it. I press stop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and click the share button. So you can put your name here, Jeremy, and the assignment, location. Well, for me, it was location one. For you, it would be location B. If you want to just have any notes here that you want me to read, that's fine too. And then you click the download button. Now I had to actually put the video on pause and wait about 10 seconds for that thing to download. If it doesn't work the first time and see it says success, you have downloaded it to your device. And then you would go into the assignment and upload that file. And you can see it's in my downloads now. There it is, Jeremy, location B, PDF. That's the file that you're going to submit on Canvas to prove that you did this. And from my end, what I see is when I open this up to grade it, let me show you. Now, again, I went to the wrong one. You need to go to the correct one. Is First of all, because I didn't reset it and I just pressed stop, I can see that the robot is actually where it's supposed to be. And then I can look down here and I can see that you actually did the coding. Okay? So, remember, you're not going to location one, you're going to location B. I hate to be annoying, but sometimes people get confused. They just try to copy what I'm doing. Because to be fair, in the last assignment, that's what we did. You just copied forward and back, and you just basically copied everything I was doing. In this one, I show you how to do it. You have to get to location B, okay?